hello and welcome back Squirrel Nation. Diving into today's video, this is Marksman Only Part 2 or Episode 2. You can see I have bought carry, so I finally got enough gold for that. I have also started to invest in my Assassin Emblems because I think for carry and Claude, Assassin Emblems are the way to go. And for build, we are using just the top build. Um which is shoes into jungle item, but honestly, I, I start with the tier one jungle item, get my boot, my shoes, and then I built into tier three. But I think you can do it either way. I'll experiment with both ways and then kind of let you know. Anyways, the big thing, other thing is I am now into master one, I believe. So I should be hitting grandmaster in the next few games. So we are climbing up the ladder pretty quickly in the lower ranks. I actually haven't had as much trouble at the lower ranks as I thought I would. Um, when I've done these types of challenges in the past, going from a new account to the top tier, it, I actually normally have more struggle in the lower tiers because things are disorganized. But it has not been that bad so far. And anyways, we will see how this goes. And trying to think of any other notes the oh the other notes i wanted to say is on the new account getting your gold up a big part of that is the achievements so achievements have really helped me get a lot of gold quickly which is what let me buy my emblems and then the other thing on the emblems is yesterday the trick that i or not the trick but the tip that i showed yesterday which is make sure you buy Every week you're buying your maximum emblems. That's what let me get my assassin emblems to 17. And that is what will let us rank quicker. So that is definitely a big thing. Because Grandmaster, I still don't expect it to be too much trouble. But I think Epic and above is going to kind of be an issue without emblems. Because a lot of those players... Eh, Epic is where you'll start to have players who just get stuck, like they're they're that rank, they've been that rank, even though they play the game for, you know, years. So they, they will have very high emblems, and that will start to be an issue in Epic and above, is my guess. But anyways, for now, we're just farming. And by the way, this is not, this is a duo queue. I'm with Choco, who is Ethereal, so that's kind of another thing that is different than probably what you all will experience if you are solo queuing, and Choco is kind of my, I'm trying to teach him how to play some MOBAs, so he is, I'm making some content and getting some videos out all in one, and that is First Blood, beautiful. So Kerry, uh, much better than Clint. Clint is great, I loved him, he was fun and all, but Kerry is a marksman I can just truly carry to the top tiers. And Stealing Jungle. Because they've had so little presence mid, low ranks, you also will have teams that don't have junglers. So it is a lot easier for you to, and here we go, we have our ultimate, we just got the caught. Okay, and he made a mistake, which is he didn't just try to run all the way. There we go. So, like I was saying, low ranks, people still don't, they don't really group, they don't really pay attention to the map. So you can try to be really, really greedy, and it actually helps you have a higher win percentage. I know it kind of sounds weird, but if I played like I play against legendary slash mythic players, then it's actually harder to carry at the lower ranks if I'm not being greedy. It's a lot easier to just carry through these if you're being greedy, if you're going for those aggressive plays that you normally wouldn't go through for. So top... I'm just farming through everything here. There we go. Okay, and we just see him coming there. And let's see if, like here, let's see if they get greedy. He can probably get them. I'm taking some damage. Nice, beautiful ultimate. I'm getting in front of him because I want these multi-kills. Oh, I thought he was going to go that way. That was my bad. Should have got a double kill, but... Anyways, just being super aggressive on top of them and getting the kills, controlling the map, stealing their jungle as much as possible. Another thing I should have done is I should have actually punished and stole that little camp from them, but what can I say? Not everything is perfect. We're going to head over to our blue buff and go. Another thing, a video I might do in the future is actually Choco, 
that me and him have normally been on Discord. We're not right now because I'm making this video. But something I've been making him do, which is kind of helping him improve quite quickly, and I've been impressed with, is I've been making him shot call. So basically, I follow him whether I agree or disagree with the choice. And then we kind of talk about like the decisions he's making. And he has actually progressed really quickly. I'm, I'm quite impressed by his how how quickly he's improved at MOBAs because this is his first ever MOBA. Like he he hasn't played MOBAs before this. So it's pretty impressive that he's got to the point where he has. Like he he is not he he doesn't feel heavy to carry. And obviously we're not super, super high rank, but I mean we are solidly moving up. We're, you know, in a reasonable tier where where a lot of players would get stuck. So I think that's pretty good. And the, the thing out of that that I wanted to point out to all of you, though, is one thing with shot calling I make him do is I make him always call out where enemies are. So, for instance, right now, he'll be saying three top, one bottom, three top, one bottom, and just kind of keep talking about that the whole game. The reason that's so important is it makes your map awareness really, really good. And when you get really good at map awareness, you can just carry games just from your map awareness. So, like, right here, we know this is a good because we just saw the enemies. We have ours there, and we saw the Lucian actually break off and not stay here. So we know we have the advantage. And there we go. This, okay, so he is going to go. Okay, there we go. And come back on the tower. There we go. Got the slow on him, and that should be another kill. Good. So we are popping off, and you can see Choco. I mean, if I didn't tell you, I bet you you would be surprised if I told you he hasn't played the MOBAs that much, because he is definitely a very helpful support. And here, I'm actually going to be abandoning him most likely. Actually, let's see. Yep, this is good. That's kills. Nice, beautiful. Like that bait. And if you notice, Choco turned, and, and I'm not in voice with him right now, so the fact that he knows to do that is I am very impressed for a new player. <laughs> and anyways, so going this, we're still just farming away. And I will get back to mid. We're getting our health back off the jungle, so notice we are about to die. Instead of going back, I just went into the jungle to farm, and then not only do we save our middle tower, but... Oh no, oh, he knocked me back before I got my S2 off, oh well. Good thing about carry is my ult comes back up quick. And there we go, we're just poking. We see their blue is up. He eats that CC for me, which is beautiful. The enemy team probably wants to rotate up here because we are getting tower, and yep, there we go, we found him. We got that. There we go, I'm actually going to come up over here. There we go. He takes aggro. Again, beautifully done. And then we can catch Nana. Can we catch her? Nope. And anyways, we get tower. So, Choco, you're doing amazing. I love it. If you were a support player, if you notice what he did, he took the tower aggro before so that we could dive in. Because I was sitting back there and I wanted to dive in on her, and I was hesitating because I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to eat all those tower shots. So then Choco took the tower aggro, and then that lets me just come in and clean up. So here we are going to steal. Yep. And I don't even have to use my punish. And at this point, we are just dominating the enemy team. So when you're in games like this, the key is when you're ahead, start really punishing people. Because, yeah, that I mean, once you get ahead, you just want to be ahead. Oh, and wow, yeah, Guinevere. I, that that was 100% my fault. I was just not paying attention that Guinevere was there. I knew the Xylong would toss me in back, but that wouldn't be a big deal, just based on how far ahead I am, but the Guinevere has too much CC. So anyways, let's see if our team can do anything. Probably can't. Honestly, the, uh, okay. Info tries to help. Info should get away. Fine. So that that was that was quite nice. Um, I was making a point, and now I forgot in all that the the craziness. 
Oh, when you're ahead, keep ahead. So once you're ahead, don't let off the enemy team. Like that's the worst thing you can do is start letting them catch back up into games. There we go. Got that kill. There we go. So just be aggressive once you have your lead. When you get unaggressive, that's when you let teams catch up. And Guinevere's over there. That's the only person, like you saw that last fight, I kind of worry about. And honestly, if I'm ready for her and I have my S2, she's not a worry either. But we're just farming up, farming up. And I don't want to farm like over farm. I just want to get enough farm. My, farm my jungle when it's up. Farm the enemy jungle when it's up. And then farm kind of like as I'm moving to other places. Over farming is definitely another uh, low rank big mistake people make. And I want to make sure I get that. So here we go into the enemy jungle. Be a little careful. They might be setting up an ambush. But overall, yep, just stealing. If you notice, Choco is clearing the way. That's beautiful. That's what a support player should be doing. They're making sure I don't get ganked, making sure I don't have to face check bushes. That type of stuff. Oh, no, I missed her. I thought she was coming this way. And they're trying to bait here. Yep, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. We dodged that. And then now they're. this is a hugely losing fight for the enemy team at this point. There we go. She's going to try again. Let's see if we can bait her into it. Come on. Nope. Okay. So here I'm going to grab the red buff before, steal the enemy stuff as much as possible. And, okay, here we go. Baiter, baiter. Yep, there she goes. And then I actually jump behind her because I don't want her to be able to run away. So we have our dash ready like you saw. Against Guinevere's, if you miss, if she misses her dash, you're you're good. And here I actually, oh, I, I would love to bait him in. Nice. And he doesn't get me. He gets Choco, which is beautiful. Great support again. He eats that. There we go. Another kill. Let's see if we can get in here for some more. It's all about the repositioning with Carrie. All about the repositioning. Okay. Enemies coming in from the side. And good. Eat that. I don't really need to eat that. She wouldn't have died, but it's okay. And here, I don't have my support. I'm just going to go push another wave. And the enemies are all rezzing, so we don't need to get too greedy there. I can switch over. We'll push this. Nope, an enemy came here, which is not going to be good for him. I got the slow on him. I have the dashes. Oh, his... Okay, there's still three enemies mid. I wanted to make sure they're not going to be collapsing over on me. And he probably wants to get me, bait me into the tower, but it's okay. So mid and lord are up. We can kind of work our way down to that. Like I said, I'm going to farm along the way, so I'll come through my jungle. We'll do all this stuff. We'll be getting this. The enemies might be trying to steal our blue. It looks like they're not. So that's good. We will keep on heading over. There, Choco just got line of sight on somebody. He's clearing the bush. That's beautiful. So. There, oh, no, he dashed away. Good on the enemy. Recognize that. Okay, our Nan is still trying to fight. Nope, she gets picked off. This is probably not the greatest fight, but we can maybe make this work. Yep, we can make it work. There we go. As soon as the Guinevere went in, the only thing I was actually worried about was the Guinevere second engagement. Okay, we got the slow, and she will be dead also. There we go. Time it. And cool. Drops the heal, get a, our health topped off, and this should be high ground plus. So let's see what we can make out of this. I'm going to steal the red buff, but I'll get this right now. Okay, unfortunately I got the tower aggro there. Okay, here we go. There he's where we want him. Nope. And that's down. And... Wow. That Okay, there we go. <laughs> Dead, beautiful. Our dad up oh, behind us. I don't know when he got behind us. I was not watching for that. Okay, I thought she would dash. She did not dash. I should have baited a little bit better. No, oh, there we go. Okay. And now this lane is pushing. Come over. Let's clear this stuff. And she's going to dash, and I'm ready. 
There we go. Oh, no. There's somebody. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. What? Oh, she came forward with her invisibility. Okay, and my teammate, I don't know. He gave up. Or did he die? No. Oh, yeah. He just... <laughs> I don't know why he gave up. I guess he, he just doesn't realize how, how fed I am right now. So he's playing safe. That's okay. I'll farm up. I can... I, we can definitely do this at this point. If I just don't have to tank it, which I won't with both of them here, so we'll just keep going, dashing back and forth. I used alt, not a big deal. Get the damage out. We got the little health. We see two people coming over. I got the punish. There we go. And here we go. Let's see if we can get these fights. Death. Kind of want to. There we go. There we go. And Guinevere, I need to be careful of. I need to keep my distance. Like I said, she's the only one who can kill me. The Lord's pushing mid. It's probably going to end the game. We can just grab these towers on the way. If my whole team was going mid, I would go there. But, you know, lower lower ranks adapt. I, the, the perfect play would be go mid and deal with all this, but it's not going to happen here. There we go. He comes back in. And Guinevere uses her dash. That is it. And we take the game. So GG. Um, yeah. Anyways, that is it. Let's see what rank. We might have hit Grandmaster now. So, yep, Master 1. We get the extra points for MVP and extra points for Legendary. You also get extra points if you get Savage, which I've hit a few times. So that helps you rank up quick. And there we go. We are promoted into Grandmaster. So Grandmaster is basically the equivalent of Platinum in AOV. So next epic, here we come, which would be Diamond. And that's when you start to have the Draft Ban phase. And I know people like Draft Ban phases quite a bit. So once we get into that, hopefully tomorrow... You know, tomorrow's video, I may be able to make it to Epic by then. We'll we'll see. It depends how much I can play today. But anyways, I hope you all are enjoying this series. And that will do it for today's video. And I will catch you all later. Take care.